Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to Artistic Intention Studio. So, yeah, a lot going on these days. Um, first of all, we'll talk about the painting. I just feel like doing a painting, <laughs> finally. Um, this is 11 by 14 canvas. Um, I bought it in a multi-pack from Hobby Lobby, nothing fancy. Um, I'm gonna use white as a background. My white is Dutch Boy interior paint mixed with um, Floetrol. Um, guys, I don't really measure. I I've, have I've so many questions. Um, if I had to guess, it would be like between maybe one part paint to maybe five to six parts um, Floetrol and then a little bit of water on top of that. Um, so that's with all paints. So um, yeah, so my white is the interior paint. Um, I'm going to use the rest of the paints except for this orange color here um, are the uh, Master's Touch brand paints from Hobby Lobby. Um, mixed the same way. I have this uh, light turquoise. I have a dark turquoise. I have a magenta that is called Rouge. I have a light pink. And then I have a Payne's Gray, which I just want to use a little bit for some dark contrast. And then this is orange that I've mixed up. Actually, so I was going to use this gold. This is an awesome gold. It's a Deco Art uh, 24 karat gold. It's a wonderful, wonderful color. But I wanted orange, but I wanted the sparkle of the gold. So um, I already had some orange um, Master's Touch mixed up. So I just added it in with a little bit of gold. So it's got that gold shimmer sheen, but it's more of an orangey color. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. That's what we got going on. I wanted to do an open cup, but I didn't have a tube. I cut the bottom out of this cup. Did a very poor job with an X-Acto knife. Um, but I think it'll serve its purpose. We'll see what happens. This is kind of a, a therapeutic pour for me. Um, I've had a lot going on. Uh, so, first thing I'm gonna do is flood this surface with my white. Uh, my white, uh, I know from my previous pour Pretty thin so I tried to put some more white paint in it but I'm pretty much out of paint so it is what it is so I'm just gonna kind of move this around I see some globs I'm gonna get those out of there um, get, trying to get back into this painting stuff I've noticed um, probably need to be better about my quality control. I've been very willy-nilly, which kind of, you know, I'm not a perfectionist by any means. This paint is really thin. Um, but it's something that I need to find a, a better happy medium, I guess, because I think my paints, some of them are drying and cracking because I've got them too thick. Um, there's globs in here and I haven't been careful about, you know, that happens. You're going to get globs. It's acrylic paint. Some, sometimes that happens, but I haven't been very good about picking those out of my paintings. And so I'll end up with a really good painting and there's a big blob stuck to the middle of it. So it's just about you know, being a little bit more careful and um, I got a little bit careless. Uh, I, I 
tape off the back of my canvases usually um, with masking tape. And I was starting to get a little careless with not doing that. And it just, you know, it just makes for a, not as a professional looking canvas. If you end up having a canvas that you like, or if somebody likes it and wants to buy it, then you got an ugly back on it. And I don't know. I mean, anyway, that's a personal thing, I guess. It just needs to look into be more aware of, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put my cup in the middle. I'm just going to start pouring some colors. I want to keep this a little lighter and I want more of an open, I really wish I had a smaller tube. I'd like more of an open uh, design. A lot more white space than I've been. I don't want to fill the canvas with the color. So I've been ill. I wasn't sure if I wanted to announce it to everybody. <laughs> I don't know. There's such a stigma attached to it. I just, and maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just being ridiculous, but I was tested positive for COVID and I was pretty ill. I was not hospitalized. I was, it was uh, basically like the flu on steroids. Um, yesterday I started feeling better, but I had a horrible, horrible headache. Um, Today I feel pretty good. It's really hot out here, so I'm really starting to sweat. But um, I feel pretty good today, so I think I'm on the I'm on the mend. I have a feeling it's going to get pretty boring now because <laughs> I'm still in quarantine until you know for what another four days. So. But maybe I'll get some paintings done and maybe I'll get some things done around the house that have really been needing to get done and and then obviously I need to start cleaning and sterilizing everything. I'm just layering this stuff in the cup. And as you can see it's it's pouring out underneath going under the white. I'm going to pour some white on top just so that there's some white in the mix. Get my torch. Yeah. Lots of bubbles in this white. And it's very liquidy, so that color is really seeping out. Um, yeah, so I just have felt very, I don't know, isolated. <laughs> you know, and we all do because. to quarantine. I'm living alone with my three dogs already and then no real human contact other than you know texts and calls and stuff like that. I have family. They've been supportive. Um, none of them have po tested positive. Thank goodness. I'm so thankful for that. Because um, I have a brand new two month old grandbaby and a four year old, almost five year old grandson. And 
and I have um, geez, how old is Audrey? 11? <laughs> 11 year old granddaughter. She's getting so big. Okay, this is moving really weird really sliding around because the white is so thin. Really wish that orange would break up more. Just gonna play with this a little bit and move it back and forth because I like the feathery edges want to spread it out more. I do want some negative space. I think I am gonna oh, I did. I ran it off that edge quite a bit. Anyway, I did finally tell a lot of my friends today via text. Everybody's been very supportive. I don't know why, you know, it's silly for me to, to worry so much about. I just feel guilty for, for forgetting it, for, <laughs> and who I might have exposed and, you know, for being Part of the problem, I feel, it's kind of what I'm dealing with, I guess. It's kind of silly. And I guess I'm jabbering. I apologize, guys, but uh, kind of wanted to speak out about it and I'm not whining. <laughs> Hope it doesn't sound like that really want to break part of this up. I'm not really sure what to do. I almost want to put a little bit of white in the center and let's do that. Let's see what happens if I put white on top of it. There's some really cool stuff going on up here. And I really so wanted that goldy orange in there, but now it's taken over. And I, I might just, hmm, I don't know. I think I'm going to pour a little bit white in here. So anyway, I shouldn't complain. I'm very fortunate. Like I said, I was not hospitalized. Um, there were, there was about a day and a half where I <laughs> felt pretty rough <laughs> um, with just basically just body aches and just like my muscles felt like they were tearing apart. It was horrible. I don't know if that's how everybody gets it, how everybody feels. It never got to my lungs yet. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm out of the woods and on the mend. This is just the first day I've felt better, so. Time will tell on that, but and everybody, all my friends, and they all tell me, you know, it's not my fault. It happens, and I don't know how I got it. Have been somewhat careful since I have the grandbabies and all not been probably 100% careful, obviously. But it is what it is, folks. And I'm happy that I am seem to be in recovery and feeling a little better and 
I can share a painting with you guys. So I'm starting to like this a little bit more. It's still too much orange. I've really been on an orange kick lately that I've noticed the think design wise things that I've picked out and I don't normally do orange at all so I wanted to put some orange in here but didn't really want it to take over <laughs> like it did. thought about putting some silicone in here because I really wanted some cool cells and stuff to happen. But I didn't. So there we go. It is what it is. Um, and I actually think I'm going to leave it at this. It's not too bad. Not happy with it, but I don't hate it. <laughs> I really like some of these details in here. I don't know. Some of the details on the edges. That's like my favorite. I used to have a cloth here. I'm running through paper towels like crazy. I also forgot to tear my, tie my hair back, so it's in my face and I can't see. I just took a shower and now I'm going to have paint in my hair. <laughs> I'm going to have to wash my hair again. Okay, I'm going to use a straw and kind of blow this around a little bit. See if I can get some more interesting cells going on in the center. It's becoming more interesting. I don't want to mess that up too much. Mm. Alright, I don't even know. <laughs> Bits and pieces I like a lot and then but I'm not sure I like the whole overall painting, but I think I'm gonna quit there. Just torching to try to open up a few more cells. And then I'm gonna bring you in for a close-up. So hang on just a second, guys. All right, we are back. Funny thing, it's a lot different color-wise on this screen. And my phone's doing that funny jumpy thing again. But look at... Th these are really cool, these bands. I don't like... It didn't get very good coverage because my white is so thin. I'm going to have to remedy that. But I am getting some cells popping through that white that I poured on top. So there's some really cool things going on here. And I'll just have to wait and see what it looks like when it dries because of the inconsistencies in the paint texture ratios. Um, and I think it's just too much orange. It's too saturated. But there are some really cool details. And that orange has the gold, so it's got some shimmer to it, which I like. Some of this stuff was really cool that I ended up running off the, <laughs> the edge of the canvas. But there's some cool stuff going on in here. Banding and some cells. 
Uh oh, my phone just does not want to focus. There's a glare on the canvas, I guess. Anyway, so that's my close up. This is the overall picture. Let me know what you think. Thanks for letting me vent a little bit about my little sickness here. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up. Give me some comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, stay safe, guys. Stay healthy. Have a great day. And come back and see me again real soon. Till next time, guys.